Okay, so in this one, what we have is this is question eight. The amount of fuel in car tank V in liters. So I'm underlining the important thing. This is the liters can be modeled by linear function V is equal to mx plus c, where x is the distance driven in kilometers. After driving hundred kilometers, so that's your V. The V is the x after uh, because x is your distance. 100 kilometers, the amount of fuel in the tank is 33 liters. Write down an equation that describes this information. So we have V is equal to mx plus c, substitute, V is 33, this is m into 100, so 100m plus c, it's your part A. Part B, after driving 250 kilometers, the amount of fuel in the tank is 22.5. So V is 22.5 mx, so x into m, so 250 into m plus c. Write down the equation and describe the second piece of information. Then calculate the volume of the fuel in the tank after driving 50 kilometers. So you substitute this in your calculator. So what will we do is, we will go to equation. We will go to equation, go to simultaneous equation, number of unknowns to my first equation is 100 m plus c is equal to 33. So 100 m, so 100 m plus x, x is 1 is equal to 33. That is my first equation. So I am just putting the coefficient. So 100, 1, 33. 250, 1, 22.5. 250, 1, 22.5. Enter. Enter again. Solve. So these are my, so 0. Point, uh, minus 0. 0.07 and 40. So minus 0. 0.07 and 40. and c is equal to 40. So that means my model becomes v is equal to minus 0 0.07x plus 40. That's what the model becomes. This is my model. So we got the value of m and c by solving these two simultaneously. Now we want the volume amount of fuel after driving 50 kilometers. So now you take your x as 50, put it back over here, plus 40. Use your calculator and solve it. So we put in your calculator and solve it. So we solve this, you will get 36.5 liters. So that completes your question 6. Uh, sorry, question 8. Question 9. The water depth D in meters in a boating marina on a particular day is modeled by the equation d is equal to 4 4 sine 30 degrees into t plus 12.5 where t is the time from 0 to 24 hours t is the time elapsed in hours since midnight write down the depth of the water at midnight so at midnight time will be 0 so you put your time as 0 and get the depth so, so what can I do so d is 0 4 sin 0 plus 12.5 you can use your calculator and you will get your answer is 12.5 make it a point that your calculator is in degrees when you are doing it then the cycle of water repeats every t hours find the value of t so we are supposed to find out the period or if you if you are sketching it we will sketch this in the calculator 4 sin 30 t plus 12.5 So 4 sin 30 t, so menu, you go to graph, four sign, four sign, open brackets, 30 x, close brackets, plus 12.5. 
you enter this in the calculator correct delete this this was the last sum okay this is the graph now look at the axis what have been given they've given you from 0 to 24 and 0 to 17.5 So we will do 0 to 24 and y is from 0 to 17.5. <coughs> 0. We can make this 18. So we'll be able to see the entire graph here. Now you want a period. So what you need to do is you need to look at one cycle. Now your in this case your 12.5 is your principal axis. So what I do is I'll put 12.5 as my principal axis. 12.5 is my principal axis. Okay. Now, this one, I'll take the intersection 12.0. And you take this one cycle. So, if you take one cycle, one crest and one trough. So, that's 12. So, the question asks us, find out the, find out the time Find the time, write down the minimum, uh, the cycle repeats in t hours. So every 12 hours the cycle repeats. So 12 hours means your one cycle is 12 hours. This is 0 and this was 12. Write down the maximum and minimum depth of the water during the day. So maximum is, you can do G solve, you can do max. You take this curve, enter, max is 16.5. So max is 16.5, 16.5 meters. Minimum, you can do G sol minimum. Yeah, this is the curve that you select. Enter 8.5. So minimum is 8.5 meters. Find the time that with the maximum minimum depth occur during the day. So you find out when it occurs during the day. So this is occurring at 9. And at 21, so minimum at at 9 and at 21 hours, and maximum is occurring at so G solve max and 12, 3 and 15. So at 3 and 15. Okay. So. Uh, for some reason all the data went from here so we we got the zero so right on the depth of the water at midnight we got that as 12.5 then we got this at uh, uh, 12 hours we got that was one cycle we had seen on the calculator minimum depth is 8.5 meters and that occurs at 9 and 21 hours that's what's from the calculator we got i'm just rewriting it 16.5 meters and that occurs at 3 and 15 hours now to sketch a graph so your principal axis is 12.5 now your minimum is 8.5 so 8.59 and 8.5 is 21 maximum 16.5 16.5 your maximum and this is at 15 maximum so that means your graph in 12 hours we complete one cycle so 6 here 18 this so get these points you can use your calculator and get these points and you sketch your graph okay a ship with 8 meter draft is allowed to enter the marina when the water is greater than 10 meters so the height of the water, the depth of the water should be greater than 10 meters. Find the time interval before midday. We want a time interval before midday in hours and minutes during which the ship is not allowed to enter the marina. So what you need to do is simply sketch your graph. Right? In this graph, we put in 10 meters. We want greater than 10 meters. So oh, you put 10. I can remove this 12.5. I don't need that. That was a principal axis. So I'll put 10 over here directly. Okay, 10. So when it's greater than 10, it's allowed to enter. And 
we have to find whether it's not allowed to enter before midday. So what will I do is I desolve intersection this point and here at this point. So if I take these values, so I'll put it here to explain it to you. Yeah. So basically, basically, you know, when it is less than 10, this is 10. So when it's less than 10, it's not allowed to enter. So that means it's less than 10 between 7.2, uh, 7.2, 8, 9, 4 and 10.71. Find a time interval. So, 10.7105 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 10, uh, 7 point, sorry, this is, so 7.2894 is less than or equal to t is less than 10.71059. We have to convert it. so seven hours. Now to convert that point two eight nine four, you multiply that by sixty. So go to menu. Point two eight nine four, you multiply that by sixty. So seventeen. So seven hours seventeen minutes. Less than equal to t. You multiply points point seven one zero five into 60 into 60 42 43 approximately so 10 hours 43 minutes so between these time it will not be allowed because the depth is less than 10 meters correct so that's what we need to do so this completes this paper